my name's Hedy, I'm the big cheese founder of Travel Gift Card, mytab.co, not dot com. It is dot co with my best friend Muppet Bundle Cundle. So we're looking at the product life cycle for marketeers and we're going to use Groupon as an example and all related to flash deals and daily deals. I am so not a fan of these because it screws the economy because the prices are going up and down all the time. But and when everybody's in that bubble and everybody's absolutely loving a Groupon kind of scenario, it is going through the roof. What happens is the whole industry gets disillusioned because suppliers can't match the ooh, suppliers are not getting the repeat business from the customers. The customers are only doing a one-time shot. The prices have now become completely unstable and there's no repeat business. This screws everything. So I'm going to show you how marketers try to decipher this one and why it's going to a decline. Okay, product life cycle, why it's interesting to marketers. Product life cycle is basically building a business, creating excessive and generating excessive results really really fast rate this is a dangerous part then there is a diral, a downward spiral and then the phase is over before you know it it's blipped it's done and it's r.i.p like groupon and flash deals customers thrive the stores pushed the service wasn't good everyone is disillusioned the businesses decline the scaled incorrectly which is why flash deals are dying the death. I was never a fan of those. I don't think it's good for anybody and it absolutely completely kills the economy. Everybody has expectations and not one thing follows through. So you're looking at development and introduction and then growth and then you hit maturity and then it declines. What's interesting to marketeers about this, the need to grow and push for infinity and beyond, they have huge challenges that they need to undertake and we're going to nail it and we're going to be the biggest ones on the whole planet and you might be, but only for a certain amount of time. You're not thinking long term. Changing direction or introducing of partner products. Creating spin-offs. Marketers like anything to do with, well, let's spin this off to something else. Let's spin this off to something else now and create a subdivision of Groupon or something else. What they're doing is they're actually just keeping with the same kind of style and the same kind of concept because that's how the brain pattern is going to move them into a new direction. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And they're holding on way past their expiration date. It's like they're not breaking up with a boyfriend that they should have broken up with months and months and months earlier, or girlfriend months and months and months earlier. They are keeping and stringing the company along until it is way too late. Then there's marketing analysis that shows new companies are born from others decline, which is absolutely great. But did they learn the lesson from this? Maybe, maybe not, like flash deals, etc. And then you're obviously looking at different new spin-offs. You get something like Groupon. Living Social came along, then other daily deals came along, and then all these, oh, you can get another deal of a deal of a deal of a deal of a we can do it faster and we can get you a we can get you a flight within 35 minutes of you signing up and we it's nuts because all people are doing is scrambling around. The supplier is scrambling to, we've got to meet this person, we've got to match this customer. And the customer's like, but I missed out on this deal. And everything's in mayhem. Does that stabilise the economy? It's going to get your heart rate up. It's going to get, I've got grey hairs already. I'm going to be pure white by the time I finish this video if that's the sort of way that the industry is going to go. You need to be in it for the long haul and you need to stabilise the economy. But why marketers like this, they see it as a challenge. They maximise on the growth and when it dies itself out, hey, well, I tried. I've got the credentials. I was part in the early stage. I can move on to better and bigger and better things. The only issue is, did you learn from your lesson? You always have to learn from that. Did you aid the economy? Did you aid your customers? Look at that before you decide to do another kind of flash deal scenario. I've got an itch. My name's Hedy. I'm the big cheese founder of Travel Gift Card. Mytab.co.co never.com. Remember that because she does with Muppet Bundle Cundle. Have a brilliant one.